Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Malia and I'm the biggest Beyonce fan you know. Being the biggest Beyonce fan that you know, I'm asked a lot of things like what's your favorite song? What's your favorite Beyonce music video? Am I in love with Beyonce? Like, do I want to marry her? Somebody asked me that once, it was weird. Anyways, <laughs> what I'm doing today is I went through my favorite Beyonce live performances and I'm gonna break them down. Now, I'm a dancer, I'm a singer, but this is not about strictly the dancing and the singing. This is not about choreo either. This is about the times when Beyonce transformed herself into Sasha Fierce on stage and she still does this, but she doesn't want to admit it because she says Sasha Fierce died. These are the performances that I can watch over and over and over again and they inspire me as a performer, a singer, a dancer, and just overall as a person. These performances reflect the times when Beyonce was just being a G, living in the moment. Right before I performed, I raised my hands up and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me. Her hard work and discipline are meeting God. These are those moments and these are my favorite moments that I honestly, they get me through some of my hardest times in life. Now for monetization purposes, I will not be adding the audio to these clips, which I'm really sad about, but I'm going to be putting the video up and I will add a playlist for you guys all to go click and watch these videos, except for the Beyonce experience one, which is not on YouTube, but I'm still gonna put the video in. Here we go. All right, here we go with number six. Number six is the crazy and love performance at the Win Las Vegas in 2009. Now, this performance is so freaking amazing because first of all, her outfit, she's totally decked out in this like theater outfit. She's like in a theater in Las Vegas and she tells a little bit of her story at the beginning and this is where we get the the screwed version of Crazy and Love, which I love. I practiced this song in my room so much back in 2009. You, it's embarrassing how much I practiced. Like this was a monologue for me to practice and like do her like. And you can see at the end of the Crazy and Love video, like one of the dancers is nearly going to fall over because there's so much energy on the stage. This. This performance just has so much energy, so much hype, and it's like this intimate performance. Beyonce, oh my god, like it's so, she's so in it. You have to check it out. All right, the next one is The End of Time from Mrs. Carter World Tour from any city, really, 2013. It's like an eight minute long performance of Beyonce, just like the dance is there, the singing that is there, the outfit is there. She is just like her curly hair, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's mind blowing. This this song performed is like a whole, a whole show. It's like a whole performance, like I don't need anything else, that's it, end of time. Like this song is just so epic and like the light and all the dancers dancing together and the little like doo -doo 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 at the end is so amazing. Um, really check this out. Number four, this is prime Sasha Fierce time right here. This diva performance from 2009 at Jay-Z's 9-11 tribute concert. I think her album had just come out. She is just in such amazing shape. I mean, she is, she's not her normal shape. Like Beyonce is thick. This is not normal for her to be in this body, but this is the ultimate body for a like expression for what she does. I mean, like her lines. She's like a ballerina in this performance. And that's why it's number four. And it's the reason that I watch this over and over because I look up to Beyonce so much as a performer. Like that's the main, that's the reason I love her. The way that she is moving in this performance, like there is an extra quality to her movement in this performance. Like she's doing, what we've always seen in Diva, she is adding a, a different quality. She, she's, she's light. She's like airy. Like her movement is airy. It's not grounded like normal. This Diva performance is less than two minutes. It's the greatest Diva performance. 
ever. One of the dancers like got tripped up because <laughs> they, it was just so much energy. I love it when this happens on stage. Like they're not mistakes. It's like something about the energy. There's so much. It's like you can't handle it. Like I know this feeling of like, oh my God, there's so much energy. I can't even hit my move because it'll take me across the stage if I do. <laughs> Like her little like thing at the end, like you just don't see her move like that anymore. There's just like a different quality to her movement here. And that's because she was at the peak of her body. Like this is before she had babies. Just the extra energy that is just coming out of her body. It's crazy. All right, the number three best performance Beyonce all time is Me, Myself and I from the Beyonce Experience 2007. She is just on a different level here. She, she's on something, like not on something, but she is just so playful and having fun and like her body, body, body. I linked another Me, Myself and I performance because sadly the Beyonce experience cannot be on YouTube. It's just a screwed up version of Me, Myself and I. It is just so beautiful. I've practiced this song, singing it so many times. I love it so much. Like this, this song stretches my voice. It helps me become a better singer singing this version. Um, check it out if you've never heard it before. Number two is Proud Mary from the Tina Turner Kennedy Honors in 2005. This performance, she's kind of imitating Tina Turner, but it's so cute. It's, it's just so beautiful that she grew up listening to Tina Turner. I'm gonna cry. Um, and she is like honoring Tina Turner. All of my favorite performances are extremely theatrical. Like Beyonce has this like pinkish lipstick on that fiery dress that Tina Turner used to wear. And that wig is just out of this world. It's so cute. Oh my god, she's so cute. Her, her thick body, she has her thick body here, and then she has her little, like, little tiny stiletto shoes that it looks like they're gonna break because her body is just so thick and so beautiful. I just love, this is like my favorite, one of my favorite Beyonce performances of all time, yes. <laughs> all right, now we're getting to it. Number one. <laughs> Why Don't You Love Me from Antwerp, from the Mrs. Carter World Tour, you know. Okay, let's talk about this performance because the day before this performance, Beyonce had dehydration and her doctor forced her to cancel a show. So I'll, I'll put the little note right here and you, you see it in her body. She is, she's very skinny at this point and she's on a world tour doing, you know, a different city. Like what was it? Four or five shows a week, like craziness, huge production, huge shows. And she's doing this and she gets dehydrated. She cancels her show. But then the next day she comes back to Antwerp and she gives them like if you could look up each and every video for this particular show in Antwerp, I suggest you do because I have and she's on fire for every single song. Like she adds something different to every single song and it's that energy like you know, she she probably like went to the hospital and was dehydrated and then just came back and she had all that energy to give because she was able to rest. Um, that's what rest does, you guys. That's what rest does. Okay, so this is my favorite Beyonce performance of all time. It incorporates all the reasons I love her so much. There's choreography with lay twins. Hello, like, can we talk about like intricacy, intricate choreography really quick? Um, there is playfulness. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I love this video so much. She's playing with the audience and she's playing with the band. Like nobody knows what's gonna happen. Nobody knows how many times she's gonna say wah, wah. Like nobody knows she, she's leading everybody with her like fist and stuff like that. And then like magic happens when she like looks back at the crowd and she's like, what? Like she's just that character. Like, why don't you love me? 
Like, I, I feel like that's a character she plays sometimes, or she's forced to play, whatever. Um, and it really is who she is. She did not write that song to to get it on the radio. She wrote that song because that is in her. Like, that's the person she is. So why don't you love me? Oh my gosh, that stanky face at the end. The playfulness, and if you have never seen this performance, you need to look it up right now. I will link it in the playlist, but yeah. Let me just like watch it really quick. I mean, honestly, every single Why Don't You Love Me from the Mrs. Carter World Tour is comparable, but this one just blew me away in a different way. And then the part where she's like, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yes, okay, yeah. Okay, the little intricacies, is beautiful. Why don't you love me? Okay, all right, you guys, that is it. That, no, oh, I'm just so hyped right now. Those are my favorite Beyonce performances of all time. Um, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll do this again with the best choreo, best um, singing, but yeah, these are overall the performances that give me life and help me to be a better Beyonce fan and a better human being. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please comment down below. Please subscribe, and I will see you in the next